uh, let me ask you, obviously, all the stuff revolving around uh, Colin McGregor over the last week. Uh, yeah. Uh, to San just having to pull out, uh, Nate Diaz being uh, put in as a replacement. So kind of taking a little bit of the, the limelight over what's happening uh, this week in London. You know, you're the second person to ask me that today, and, and I'm not really conscious of it, to be honest. I'm not checking the websites every day. I'm not doing all that type of thing. I'm doing here preparing for my fight and doing everything I can. So I'm kind of in a bubble right now. I don't know what's going on in the world. I really don't. I haven't even checked my email, so I've probably got a bunch of people screaming my name and saying what an asshole I am for not getting back to them and unprofessional. Um, but as you, as I said, you're the second person to ask that, so I'm assuming maybe it is. But at, at the end of the day, that doesn't concern me, you know. Connor is a superstar, you know, plain and simple. And... That was a big fight. That was him going up from being the featherweight champion to possibly being the lightweight champion for the first time in history. So that was a, a big, big thing, you know, and Conor attracts a lot of attention these days. That was a huge fight. And then a big story, the lightweight champion breaks his foot. Now they've got to find another replacement. They've got to do another press conference. So you can't let that bother you. The fact of the matter is these are big events that are happening, you know. I'm not bitter about it. I don't think he's overshadowing me. I'm still performing for... A sold out crowd there's still going to be a lot of people watching these fights just because he might be stealing a headline on some crappy MMA websites right now couldn't uh, I couldn't care less I really couldn't Conor's a great guy he's an amazing fighter he's an incredibly charismatic individual and I fully understand it produced in association with combat and strength.com